Well, Paula John Stewart returned to The Daily Show this week and immediately angered some of his fans with a critique of President Biden's age. As WBZ political analyst John Keller shows us, a new poll highlights why age could be such a challenge for the president's reelection. They are the oldest people ever to run for president, breaking by only four years the record that they set. <laughs> John Stewart is back on The Daily Show, hammering Donald Trump and especially Joe Biden for being old. How do you go on TikTok and end up looking older? <laughs> and the latest poll shows Stewart has company, a majority saying both men are too old, with Biden getting the brunt of the doubt. It's a message being hammered home by Republican challenger Nikki Haley. We have to face the reality of the fact that when you get to those ages, you get diminished. Age is not enough to say someone can or can't do a job. To Washington Monthly Politics editor Bill Scher, Stewart and Haley are way off base. Age in and of itself, even if it means you're, you walk a little stiffer or your voice is a little raspier, that doesn't mean you can't do the job. And I know plenty of people in Washington right now, a whole lot younger than Joe Biden, who I would not hand the keys to. In Massachusetts, we ask for our, our justices on the SJC to retire at the age of 70. But the head of Haley's campaign in Massachusetts says when it comes to these two, age is not synonymous with wisdom. And when you have these two guys that are just looking in the rearview mirror and look, both of them, chaos and drama follows them everywhere that they go because all they're doing is rehashing old disputes and arguments instead of looking forward. All right, uh, John is here now. John, uh, Ronald Reagan famously brushed off some age concerns uh, back in 84, but in the end, how big of an issue is it going to be this time around? Well, that's a great example, Chris. It, it seemed like a big issue in 84. In the end, it was not. Reagan yeah. romped over Walter Mondale, and I suspect uh, that while obviously if there's a meltdown down the stretch mm -hmm. in one of the debates, it could be a factor. I think in the end, voters are going to make up their minds based on the contrast between these two candidates, contrasts of policy, temperament, and vision for the future. They're pretty stark. I think that's going to overwhelm the age issue. Yeah, and look, these are the guys we're getting. Right? And, and neither one is a spring chicken, no yeah. question. All right, John, thanks for the insight as always.